I'm Emilio Pesmino, and today we're going to be diving in the equatorial waters around Isla de la Plata. As soon as I got into the water, I was surrounded by an incredible diversity of fish, the most numerous by far being the scissor-tailed damselfish. These tiny fish live in schools made up of thousands of individuals for protection and are experts at moving in synchrony to confuse potential threats. Speaking of, I noticed that they began acting erratically and I didn't understand why until I saw a long snake-like figure cruising below. This strange looking creature is the blue spotted cornet fish, and they belong to the same order as pipe fishes and seahorses. They prowl around reefs in search for small fish and crustaceans they prey on, and can be found in tropical and subtropical waters all around the Indo Pacific. Another colorful native of this reef is the king angelfish. They can be identified by their dark, shield shaped bodies with a bright blue edge their yellow tails and vertical white stripe running down their shoulder. Also present were the sergeant majors, who at first I didn't recognize because they didn't have their iconic black stripes that give them their names. As it turns out, they have the incredible ability to change their pattern depending on where they are swimming, becoming much lighter when they're swimming high above the reef like in this case. I spent about half an hour exploring the remainder of the reef. And as I swam back to the boat, I noticed a familiar shape resting on the seafloor about 20 feet below. Don't see it yet? Well, let's take a quick dive. This is a long tail stingray, measuring about 5 feet across. This species can be easily recognized by their diamond shaped body and their iconic long tails that give them their names. Originally, I wanted to talk about stingrays in general in this video, as I had encountered them multiple times before and felt an episode was long overdue. However, I later had another encounter with a stingray that was much more personal, so stay tuned for that episode later in the season. As I didn't have enough material to make a video of their own, I wanted to take the opportunity to talk about the reptiles of Isla de la Plata. I didn't get to see any of the local snakes but I got tons of looks at the two native species of lizard. The first is the knob pacific iguana, which is not actually an iguana, but a colorful lava lizard. The second is the boat quartz amoeba, and here we can see a little one chomping down on a spider. A third species, the coastal leaf toad gecko, is not native and was accidentally introduced to the island from the mainland. Well guys, that was an awesome adventure. I don't know if the camera could pick this up, but when I was diving, I could hear the whales and this thing went, ooh, ooh. It's pretty incredible, man. Bueno, oh. muchachos, until next time. A special thanks to the Rivadeneira family for making this adventure possible. And even though our time on this amazing island has ended, we'll be heading back into the ocean very soon. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe so you don't miss out on any new adventures by clicking the channel icon right above or click here to watch another video. And as always, thanks for watching.